Okay, so now let's discuss something very, very interesting, and that is Bernoulli's equation. So Bernoulli's equation is one of the, I would say, most amazing equation in physics because it has a lot of applications, from your water tank to flight. Amazing, right? So we can fly because of Bernoulli's equation. So let me draw your airplane. So that is actually applied here okay, on the wings. That's Bernoulli's equation working, guys. That's why we can fly because of Bernoulli's equation. So, okay. So I, I will not going to discuss how it was derived, but I will just give you the equation. So let's say we have a piping system. Okay, so in our piping system, we consider two points. One point is, let's say, at some height. Let's just call it Y1 at point 1. And this one, let's say this is our Y2 at point 2. So there is some pressure there, there's the velocity there, let's just call it V1. There's velocity here, we'll, we'll call it V2. There's also pressure 2 and there's also pressure 1. Okay? According to Bernoulli's equation, the terms which has in relation to kinetic energy of the fluid, and potential energy of the fluid, and the, the pressure of the fluid is constant all throughout this uh, point on the entire enclosed pipe okay so let me write the equation so please bear with me so according to Bernoulli's equation so Daniel Bernoulli so kapangalan ko pa siya so we have the same name I think I'm also good in physics <laughs> okay so because you have the same name anyway whatever so pressure plus the kinetic energy component of that fluid one half rho density V squared at point 1 plus the potential energy of that fluid rho g y1 is constant what does constant means doesn't change so whether you're considering one point here one point there or point two they should be the same so let me rewrite it p1 plus one half rho v1 squared at point one plus rho g y1 okay equals equal to pressure at this point 2 plus 1 half rho v2 squared plus rho g y2 so this is the equation of this is the Bernoulli's equation. It's quite long. <laughs> okay, you can memorize this, but so what is P1? P1 is the pressure at point one. Okay, P2 is the pressure at point two. What is the velocity one? It's this one. What's uh, Y1? It's the height here. Okay. And P2, V2, it's in the, the second point. Okay, so this is your equa uh, Bernoulli's equation. Okay, it's quite long. So let's have a shorter version. What if uh, we are dealing with a piping system, which is at the horizontal, same height, same height level? Okay. So I've drawn here a pipe which is uh, located at the same height level. So what will happen to our equation now? So if y1 is equal to y2, so they're at the same height, what will happen? So if you get to move it there, same height, so they will just cancel out, okay? So this term will cancel out. So our equation, our Bernoulli's equation, will just be p1, plus one half rho v1 equals p2 plus one half rho v2 oh these are squared squared 
So this is now your Bernoulli's equation at same level. Okay, so let me box that equation. It's very important. So what does it mean? So these terms, P1 plus 1 half rho V1 squared is constant. It's equal to P2 plus 1 half rho V2 squared. Okay? So, uh, that's the physics of your airplane. So, why we, we, we fly. So, let's say this is the wings of the airplane. Okay? Something like that. Now, if you're going to analyze the, the motion of the, the fluid, the velocity here is high. Well, the velocity at the lower part is low. Okay? But according to this equation, look at this. If the velocity is low, this should be high. If, if the velocity here is high, this should be low. Okay, so something should negotiate. Something should, in a way, counteract. So the equation is valid. Bernoulli's principle is valid. And that is what is going on on the wings of your airplane. The velocity is faster above the wings, while the velocity on the, below the wings is lower. So, Velocity high, pressure is low. Velocity low, pressure is high. Okay? That's how your airplanes fly. If you have the wings, velocity high, low pressure. Velocity low, high pressure. If it's higher pressure, it will push the airplanes upwards. So I have here a, um, a tissue paper. Okay, so I have your tissue paper. Um, let me stop my sharing. So, the velocity of air is the same, doesn't matter at rest. So, pressure is the same, and because of gravity, this will fall down. But what if, if, if I'm going to increase the velocity? If I increase the velocity of air here, they're almost at the same level, small amount of distance, same level. So the pressure will become lower. If the pressure becomes low here, the pressure here becomes higher. It will push the tissue upward. See? It, don't, it becomes upward. Okay? So perhaps, I don't know, this is a little bit heavier than the tissue paper. So let, let me try it. If I increase the velocity, of the air, the pressure will become low, 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 and then the pressure here is, you know, doesn't change actually, but the pressure is becomes higher than the pressure here. I did not flip it. You cannot flip it. Look at that. So if the velocity is higher, 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 the, the pressure there is very low that it will push, the pressure here will push the paper upward. So that's the physics of flight. Okay, so thank you guys. Another important application is the Torricelli's theorem. It's basically just the application of Bernoulli's equation. But we're going to discuss it in the next video. See you.